Hi guys, welcome to today's vlog. Today we are going to do, you're gonna be excited for this, some cleaning. Let's get into the vlog. So first I like to have a cup of decaffeinated coffee. I know, grow up, who are you? But I've said it before and I'll say it again, I just feel like caffeine, it tips me over the edge. This is one of my just everyday cleans. I like to start with washing your hands because you're gonna be handling cups and plates. So I make sure that I do that before I unload the dishwasher. This is just common practice here. The dishwasher desperately needs cleaning. So for this, I'm using Sif and a paintbrush, my loves. If you have got any tricky kind of areas in your house, get yourself a paintbrush, use it, use it or lose it, it will change the way you clean. I find myself getting this out all the time now just to clean things over. I then did a wash in the washing machine. So these are just items that need to then be put into the tumble dryer. This is my new tumble dryer. I am loving her. It is a heat pump one and it's actually quite cost effective. So I'm very pleased about that. Then I'm gonna go ahead and wipe down the washing machine. Again, I'm gonna use SIF for this, just to do like the rubber seal, the inside, just a nice little light clean on her, cause she needs it. She was saying, please help me at this point. I want you to clean me. I've got so much washing happening at the moment with the kids um, being at home. So here we are. Then I like to do the washing machine drawer and the dishwasher filters. Again, the hero of the hour here is our paintbrush. What should we call her? Should we call her? Well, let's make it him, Perry. Let's call him Perry, Perry paintbrush. Absolute dream at getting into little kind of nooks, crannies, crevices, perfect for your washing machine drawers and filters. Do you see these little like intricate details here? Paintbrush gets inside them, wonderful. For this, I'm just using washing up liquid. It is time to bring out Beverly bleach. I like to do this, you guys will know, before every clean. Fill a basin up with some bleach water. Sif on the sides. We're gonna do the C before D method. Of course we are. This means we clean first, we disinfect afterwards. So that's what I'm doing here. Then I just like to go around and wipe over any of the like, shelves, any ornaments that I've got, appliances, didn't film the appliances because this was quite a chaotic clean. If you are on the community page, you'll know the struggle has been real in my life lately. So I've crafted together the best that I can. The top freezer drawer needed a wipe down. It wasn't like majorly bad, but I just feel like where this one isn't enclosed, it gets a bit more grimier than the others. So I wiped that down just with some dish soap and then restocked it. The kids are absolutely thrilled by this. It is half term. They are loving the fact that the Hug and Dug factory has come to town. So, oh, that's annoying. That front one isn't dead straight, but here we are. Then we move on to the table. I like to put all of the chairs up on the table. I don't like to do it by the feet. I always like to do it by the seat. I just think it's unhygienic putting the actual table legs on the table. That's just my thing. You do what you wanna do. Then we are gonna Cinderella up the floors. This is where I do the floors by hand. I just prefer this method when it comes to cleaning my house. You can use a mop, of course, but 
I just feel like this is a lot nicer for me because it allows me to get into all the light skirting boards. Then we move on to the table legs. These are forever looking just, they look a bit drab sometimes, so I'm just using white vinegar for this. I would alternate between white vinegar and then my um, window soap that I like to use. So I think the window soap gives a better finish, but for this, I was just doing a quick clean, so I used the white vinegar just because it's quick, that's why. The table, I am now using Sif on this. The reason that I use Sif to begin with is on this table, obviously this is where we all eat, and sometimes if you get like, like say you get um, a bolognese sauce that is stuck on the table, a little bit spilt, Sif is your friend when it comes to just getting that off really effectively. I am now going in with our Unger window cleaning solution. So this is the only tool I will use when it comes to glass now. I love this on glass. It gives a streak free shine. For alternative options, you can use a black tea. That also works really well. And obviously you can also use white vinegar. This is just something that I really, really enjoy using at the minute in my house. Sorbo, she's coming out to play. This is a dream of a cloth. So once I've done the window cleaning solution on the table, I then go ahead and wipe it over with my Sorbo cloth. She is absorbent, very Sorbo. We love to see her. Once I have finished cleaning the kitchen, the final thing to tackle is always the sink. I've said it before, I'll say it again, kitchen sinks are up there with one of the most unhygienic places in our properties. So I really like to give it a really good scrub-a-dub-dub with the SIF. And then, to get a nice, fresh, clean drain, here is what you're gonna do. Baking soda, you're gonna want about a tablespoon few pumps of dish soap, and then you wanna do about 10 drops of tea tree oil. Leave that for a hot minute, and then you're gonna get hot water from your tap. It doesn't have to be boiling. This is gonna get rid of any grease and grime within your drains, and it is also gonna make it smell as fresh as a daisy. This is what the kitchen now looks like. On to the living room. We're gonna just go over the sofas, get rid of any dust or anything that's on them. These sofas, there are strict instructions. No food, no food, no food, no drinks, unless it's water. You are not allowed to use these with like, you know, stainy items. Because although I could get it out, I don't want the aggravation, all right? Then I've gone in with a multi-surface antibacterial cleaner. That's just the computer, the desk that I'm wiping down. And then our window soap I use on the mirrors type things in the living room. This is how it now looks. This is my little display. And then again, the Henry Quick over the rug in the lounge. Today is not the day for me to be pulling up the rug, so what I would do if I'm doing a deep clean is the rug gets pulled up, all of these floors will be done by hand, Cinderella method as well. That is not the day today though, so this is what it now looks like. This was just a nice, quick, light clean. I did also do the hallway and the stairs, that's what that looks like. Then it was on to the bedroom. A little bit of organizing to soothe our souls. I do love it. So I really like these kind of sectional underwear organizers. I just think they're really handy and I just think it makes everything look neat and tidy. That's all I needed to do within our bedroom because I'd already done a deep clean on this. This is how it now looks. We love to see it. She's looking fantastic. Now it is time to move on to one of my favourite rooms, it is the bathroom. So I needed to replenish the soap, so I did that. 
I am using the Astonish bathroom cleaner today. Um, I really like the smell of this. It smells very nice. I enjoyed using it. So the sink gets wiped over. I then like to remove the plug from the sink and just do the underneath of it, just because that can sometimes get gunky if it's overlooked. You should be able to just unscrew it if you have one like this. Then I like to do just a little like dollop of bleach down the bathroom sinks. Make sure that once you put that down though, you don't leave it for too long because it will corrode the metal. So you then need to flush it through with water. Then it is onto the tiles. I like to spray these down again with the bathroom cleaner. As soon as you have done it, get your glass cloth, this is the minky one, and dry it off for the best shine. If you don't do this, you're gonna end up with like dull, streaky tiles, and it's just not the vibe we want. This is what my little caddy looks like. Then it's onto the shower screen. Again, I'm using the exact same bathroom cleaner. I do also like to use the Viacal um, antibacterial one, so I will alternate. And then again, we're using our Minky glass cleaning cloth. I will link everything in this video in the description box, so if you want to get anything, I'll link it all. Elbow grease gloves, we are now moving on to the toilet. So I'm just sprayed that down. Then you're gonna wipe it over. I'm using just toilet roll for this, just because I can flush it easy and then it's gone. I don't need to then have the ag of bleaching a toilet cloth, etc., etc. This was just for ease. So if you use a cloth, use a cloth. If you don't, then don't, that's fine. You can use the um, toilet paper. It does get annoying though sometimes when it starts breaking up. Um, so I would say kitchen roll works better. But anyway, here we are. A good dose of Beverly bleach down the toilet because it's the only way. This is the elbow grease bathroom mousse. This stuff, when I tell you I am thoroughly enjoying using this right now, I can't even deal. So where it's like a moussey texture, I just find that it almost like clings to everything to get a deeper clean. You know how if you've got a spray, it drips off? This doesn't, it kind of like sits there, kind of a bit like a shaving foam, how a shaving foam would work. You do need to make sure though that once you've used this that you rinse it afterwards. These are the Ducks Toilet Strips. I love these, they're more hygienic than the caged ones, that's why I use them. And finally, I have got a little hack for you. If you wanna do a fancy schmancy on your toilet roll, get your bathroom cleaner, wet it, you're not gonna spray the solution, wet it under the tap, push it on with the nozzle, and there you go, it sticks down. You're very welcome. Here's how the bathroom now looks. That's the end of our clean. I love you lots. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And until next time, keep it clean.